This is a Chucky B production. 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 Today on Hexal Creators, I'll be showing you guys how to make a navigation bar using uh, CSS and HTML. And this is the one I made before this video. And as you can see, it looks really good. And as you hover over the text, it changes a color. Uh, right now, it's not really noticeable because the font is really thin. And the change in color, uh, the one I set it to, is just a different shade of tan than uh, the first one that it has. So you can't really see the change in color but I'll make sure that you can uh, see it in the one that we're gonna be making in this video. So to start, what you wanna do is you wanna go to where you wanna start this project. For me, it's my desktop and I made a folder called Navigation Bar uh, Website. And in there, I have an index file, an index.html file, and a CSS file. So you wanna make these two, you can name it anything you want. I just named it index.html and style.css. So if you go over to Sublime Text, because that's my text editor, you can use anything including Notepad, Notepad++. Uh, Sublime Text is free as well, so you can go ahead and download it for both uh, Macs and Windows. So to begin, what you want to do is you want to go into your head tag. Um, first of all, make sure you have a basic structure of an HTML file. If you don't know how to do that, you want to uh, go back into I think it was our second video, which would show you how to do that. It's really simple. Uh, it's basics of HTML video. Check it out. Link will be in the description. But you want to make uh, a basic structure, which is going to be an HTML. Inside, you have the head and the body tags. So inside of the head tag, you want to make a title. Uh, you really do not need this for this project, but we're just going to do it just for good practice. So I'm going to name this uh, just... Um, Hacksaw Media. Uh, and you can close it off with another title uh, with a forward slash before the title. So after that, you want to uh, link your CSS file to your HTML file because you want to uh, affect all the, you want to add all the styles to the HTML file. Uh, you don't have to do an external CSS style uh, sheet. You can do it internally by just going into the head tag and just putting uh, style tags and you can close this off with another style tag and you can do it inside of here, but I like doing it uh, externally. So what I'm going to do is you want to go under here and you're going to use link rel for relationship and then equals and that's going to be um style sheet and then after this you want to put in a space and then type it's a css um it's a css file so it's going to be text slash css and then last but not least you're going to put in the name of the file so h ref equals and mine is going to be style dot css so for the last one you want to make sure that you are using the same name and extension you use for the your uh, style sheet which is going to be something dot css so now once you have done this you can just close this off and you have linked your style sheet to your uh, html file so the first thing you want to do is you want to go inside of the body tag and you want to create uh, some um, unordered lists and this is really easy to make too and it was covered in my uh, HTML tutorial uh, HTML basics tutorial so you can go again if you want to check that video out make sure to go to the description uh, it's going to be listed there with the link so now what you want to do is you want to put in UL and you want to add a class and we're going to call it let's say navbar okay and then we can close this off once we are done. And under here, we're going to have a bunch of lists, lists for the um, tabs like home and stuff like that. So for the first one, I'm going to go with home. So to start, you want to use list. And I'm going to indent this so I can just see it clearly. So you want to start with list and then So you want to start with list and then it's going to be a space href. So inside of here, I'm going to put in a hash symbol and that's because this is a dummy website and we have nowhere to link it to. 
uh, if you have if you are using this for a website and you have different links for each page and then you can put uh, you can put that in instead of the hash so uh, after that you want to use this sign and you want to put in a name so for the first one it's going to be home and space and you're going to close it off with an a and then you're going to close off the uh, list one so once you have done this you can just copy and paste this like a couple of times and just change the text that says home to a different one you can just alter that one and it would work just fine so i'm going to do this let's say four times and for the first one for the second one i'm going to go with um uh, about uh and then work And then I'll go with contact for the last one. So once you have done this, you want to just close off the uh, uh, UL tag. So to do that, just come here and you can close it off like this. So once you have done this, you are basically done with the HTML file. Now everything you do is going to be in the CSS file. But before I continue, I just want to go into my finder. And I'm gonna open this file and show you what it looks like at the moment so as you can see at the moment it just looks like a bunch of hyperlinks and uh, by the end that's gonna change so right now I am in the CSS file and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a background picture so uh, it doesn't look really plain uh, you don't have to do this so this is not really parts of the uh, tutorial but I'm just gonna do that um, and if you want to learn how to use backgrounds in CSS, uh, check out the last video or the one before that and it should show you how to do that. So to do that, I'm just going to use background image and we're going to use URL and parentheses and inside we're just going to paste in the link. So I'm going to change the size of the background image after that. So I'm going to change the size of the background image after that. So that's going to be background size. And I'm going to set, set it to cover because I want it to cover the whole web page. So command save. And let me go ahead and refresh uh, the page. So it's on Google Chrome. And yep, it's working. So the image is in. And you can see the hyperlinks right here. So now. To customize these, the first thing you want to do is you want to add, um, you want to change the font family and the font size. So I'm going to change my font family to uh, Railway. And I'm going to change the font size to, uh, let's say, 15 pixels. So that's really easy to do, 15 pixels. And after that, you want to set the padding and the mar uh, margin to zero. So this is just going to get rid of the space and margin. So you want to set this to zero too, and you want to save this. So if I go into Google Chrome, refresh, uh, as you can see, it has changed the font and it's a bit um, more to the left side. So and to the upper side too. So now to begin, uh, go back into Sublime Text again and you want to make another selector. So right now we're going to select the A tags and we're going to um, use the curly brackets and inside you're going to add text decoration. Uh, this is just going to get rid of the underline that comes with the hyperlinks and everything and you want to put none and you want to change the color of the text too. So I'm going to change the color of my text to uh, let's uh, let me find a good color um, I'll go with I think I should go with a um, yellow or actually I'll go with a teal color uh, since that's gonna be the background kind of so I'm gonna go to HTML color picker and I'm gonna find a teal kind of color. So, so this should be good. Just copy the code, um, copy, and I'm gonna go into Sublime Text and paste it in here. Um, so, if I save this, Command S, 
we are probably not going to be able to see the text now because uh, it's going to be really similar to the background or actually you can see it and I think it looks really good. So moving on, you want to um, make another selector and now we're going to be selecting the class that we made in the HTML file called navbar. Uh, if you don't know what I am uh, talking about right now, it's this one. Uh, if you haven't made one or you made one with a different name, uh, just make sure to select it using that name and you will be good. So use curly brackets and inside what you want to do is you want to add, first of all, you want to change background color. So this, this is going to uh, be like the main thing. It's going to add a background color to it and mine is going to be white. Uh, you can you can do black or any color that you want and then I'm gonna align the text to the center So that's gonna be text align center and What you want to do after this is you want to get rid of all the list styles um, This might have you might have gotten rid of this using the uh, text of a decoration But if not you can just add a list style and then you can put in none and then after you have gotten rid of all the list styles, what you want to do is you want to go to padding and then it's going to, uh, actually I didn't spell that right. So it's going to be pad padding and you want to do 20 and then 0, 20, 0. So command save. You want to go to your web page, refresh, and it should look something like this. And as you can see, it has changed a lot since we have started. Uh, we added a background change the color, center the text, and uh, added uh, some padding on top and bottom with 20 pixels, and now it's looking really good. Now what we have to do is we have to um, make this on the same line, which is gonna be uh, really easy to make. Uh, and to do that, what you have to do is you wanna go back into Sublime Text, and you wanna select uh, dot nav bar, and then you want to use your gra uh, greater than sign and then you can do list curly brackets and inside you're going to put in display and it's going to be inline block so what this is going to do is it's going to display all the text or all the lists on the same line so if i go into google chrome refresh as you can see they're on the same line now and it's getting to where we want it to be but as you can see there's no spacing and stuff and it kind of looks like the same text so we're going to change that in a minute so after this you want to add padding again and this one is going to be 0 and 30 0 and then 30 again and then you can save this and this should add a bit of spacing in between the text. And as you can see, they are separated and they look like they're different text now. Now, moving on, we only have one more thing left to do and that is once you hover over the text, we wanted to change colors. And that's really easy to make. If you don't want that feature, then you are done. But if you do, just, uh, just follow this. So you wanna do navbar and then you wanna do list and a a hover so you want to use curly brackets and inside you can put in color and you want to set uh, you you can put in a color that you want to set it to so for me I had a uh, greenish kind of color so I'm gonna go back into my HTML color picker and I'm gonna pick a much darker color of the same um, I'm, I'm gonna pick a, a much darker shade of the same color uh, which should um, make the color change once you hover over the text. So if I refresh this and now hover over it, as you can see, it changed color. And if you click on it, it changed, it would uh, actually change uh, where you're going if it had a link, but it doesn't. This is just a fictional website I made just to show you how to do this. So that is it for today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one.